Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Inches Garage, as I used to call it. Um, if you're new here, thanks for watching. Um, today, we're gonna be working on the Honda CX500. I'm hoping to get the frame completely modified and, and welded um, to my liking, and then we can start painting it, and then it's onto the reassembly. So I'm super excited, but I thought, I always like to let this little guy run every time I'm out here working. What a beast. What an absolute mad lad. All right, I only have a couple hours of working out here today, so I'm thinking we should get to it. So let's do this. Okay, so today we are working on the frame. In case you forgot, this is the Honda CX500 frame. To be honest, almost I have forgotten. It's been so long I've been working on this. So basically what I did is chopped off the ends here. We're gonna be creating like a frame hoop kind of thing like we done, did on the XL100S build series. But today what I'm focusing on is getting all this um, completely paint free so we can weld on some brackets for the seat. Um, and that's really our main focus today. Once we get that welded on, we can actually paint prep the, the frame and get this painted. Um, so that's my goal. We also need to be painting, um, here's the swing arm and some other miscellaneous, um, like the triple tree, all that kind of stuff, as well as some other pieces down here and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we're gonna be trying to do today. I'm gonna hammer this all out. So let's get to it. All right, so there's been just a slight change in plan. So what I was doing is for the, fr for the seat mount, I was gonna be welding um, two bars on like this. This is gonna stay here, it has the shock mounts and all that. But what I was gonna do is weld two of these onto here like this, and then so the seat will sit on top of it. And plus, if we only have two bars going across, we also have room for the rectifier, the CDI box, and all those kind of things as well. And all the electricals, since we're taking out the air box, that was the plan. What I'm actually gonna do is actually just weld this side, the back. Um, the front, I'm actually gonna cut off angles and then screw it into the frame here. I know people don't like screwing stuff in the frame. I don't care. And I'm doing this for, well, one specific reason is because the rectifier, um, it's gonna mount perfectly underneath here. And so if I'm able to actually remove this, I can screw the rectifier in like this and then screw this in and it's removable. Um, and that's gonna be a whole heck of a lot easier than trying to do it while it's welded onto the bike. So those are the only two screws that are going to be going into the frame. So I think I'm good. Okay, let's get to it. I hope this goes well. I'm so bad at welding though. But no better way to learn than do it, right? <laughs> that looks like crap, but uh, yeah, that's fine. That's like my philosophy of welding as well. Yeah, it just looks like crap. I just grind it off, it will hold right. All right, well, the brackets are all cut. I know they look a little bit rough right now. I did get these little guys welded on as well. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm doing yet, if I didn't explain it well enough, um, basically I'm putting this across like that, and then I'm doing one more here. So that way I'll have something to rest the seat on. As you can see, the frame does kind of curve and has this dip right in the middle here. Um, so basically what I'm doing is just adding some height um, and so that the seat can sit on it flush. And I did weld these on um, because the stock CDI box goes right here. CDI box basically just powers the ignition coils and it bolts in just like that. It's getting a little bit too dark out here, a little bit cold, and I want to do some more stuff back in town. So that's all I had time to do today. But, but we are ready for paint now. So that's exciting. So what I'm thinking is I'll actually come out here in the next couple days as well and just paint everything I need to paint. 
uh, and then it's reassembly time and, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, yeah, it's looking good. I do, I'm hoping to have it finished by the MCC sale. It's basically a big, it's, it's like a big, it's a, a big sale. Um, and, and they have a car show and a bike show in it. Um, it's kind of small, but I kind of do want to enter it in. We'll see, my brother gave me the idea. Um, I think it'd be fun. So let's see if I can get it done. Honestly, all we have to do is paint and then it's reassembly time. I do need to figure out uh, the electronic fan system that I'll be building. I think we can get it done. I don't know, we'll see. That's where we're at though. So anyway, next episode we'll be painting every freaking thing. It's an absolutely gorgeous day out here in Sanger. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, well, actually you can. <laughs> but it's absolutely beautiful out here so peaceful i'm i'm super grateful it was a nice day today till then guys i'll see you in the next video if you haven't subscribed yet and you like the content you see make sure to smash that like button smash all the other buttons and smash the like button as well bye my neighbors <laughs>